Hi everybody! The other day I downloaded these paper dolls from the website hijabready.com and my daughter liked them so much that she wanted me to make one for her that had wings and long hair. So this is my attempt at making a fairy princess, I guess? So I sketched it out in pencil, taking inspiration from the paper dolls from the website, and then I'm going over with a sharpie to outline all of the pencil marks, and then later I use a thinner tipped marker in order to get to some of those finer places. So next I scanned my image and then imported it into my Silhouette Cameo program where I could then print it out on glossy magnetic sheets that I then cut using my Silhouette Cameo digital cutter. So now I'm just going to peel it off of this cutting mat. It comes off really easily and this material is really nice. It's magnetic on one side and the front is a nice glossy finish that takes these Copic markers really well. So I'm going to start using the Y21 color which is buttercup yellow for the skin tones. I don't have a wide variety of colors so this is the one I've been using for skin tone. And then I'm going to use a variety of brown colors for her hair and I'll have those colors at the end of this video. Next I'm coming in with a light aqua color to do her wings which I realized look a little bit more like leaves but my my intention was to make them look like wings. I don't really know how to draw so I was trying to copy the paper dolls uh, as much as I could from the illustrations from the website uh, hijabready.com but you could copy anything. In fact, you could even just download, you know, a variety of images off the internet and print them up and then cut them out and color them in. Uh, my daughter wanted something pretty specific and so I just tried to do this for her. It was actually pretty fun. Uh, so she's just getting in there showing you the other version, which you can see after this uh, portion of the video, um, you can see the other one at the end. <clears throat> so I added some glitter to her wings, and here's one that I just did on paper, and there are all the Copic markers that I used for her hair and the outfit and her skin. And I really like the way the one on paper turned out actually, but it's not as sturdy as the one that has the magnetic sheets. You can follow along on Instagram to see more pictures and if you want to see one more version of this fairy princess doll then here's the other one that I did. This one that I cut out, cut out not quite exactly the way I wanted it to. When you're using the Silhouette Cameo you can add registration marks to your image so that when you run it through the digital cutter it can um, like recognize those registration marks so that it can cut exactly where you want. For some reason this one caught, cut a little bit off so if you can tell on the right side her wing, like the wings don't, aren't outlined in black whereas on the left side they are but it's totally not a big deal. Um, I will have some tutorials in the future on how to use a Silhouette Cameo. It's come in so handy for our homeschool but then again I really like a lot of crafting tools. Um, I, they just make their way into our homeschool quite a bit. So this one turned out pretty similar to the last one. I'm adding a little jewel here for the little flower that's on her dress. And I really like the way it shines. It picks up the light really well. And this is about it. You can see some close-up here, close-ups here. My daughter really enjoys this a lot. And if you want to see more pictures, you can check out my website at pepperandpine.com. Thanks for watching.